Right, hello again. Today we're going to tie this surf candy style bait fish, uh, sand eel, sorry. Um, I have actually used it as a bait fish by chopping the tail like here at a taper when they've been a bit tricky or, you know, um, there's a lot of small fish around. You can just turn this into a small, tiny little bait fish quite easily, but primarily I use it as a sand eel pattern. Um, it's not too difficult to tie. Um, uh, there's there's only like three materials in it if you're not you know if you don't include the, the eyes it's quite quick to tie so i'm going to start by putting a size two stainless steel shaughnessy style hook in the vise and i'm going to angle it down a little bit and the reason for that will become apparent in a moment um right at the end of the fly i should say so right thread is a uh, just a, a clear monofilament thread and I'll put some little bit of varnish on the um, on the hook just to help this thread adhere to the hook because being a mono, monofilament thread well, that's a tricky to say being a monofilament thread it can be a bit slippery so that just helps it grip to the hook we're going to take it all the way down to ah, opposite the point um, now I'm, I'm just getting some this this is called HTO fish scale and it's just like a, a very fine hair with a bit of flash running through it now I'm going to take a tiny tiny piece of this not much at all uh, yeah so just like a, a tiny little bit I'm just going to fold this over, put in a bit of a taper in the end, although we will be trimming this fly at the end, so you don't have to worry too much about your taper. Where I've cut it, I'm just going to pull it out. Just, again, just to help with the taper. There's less trimming to do at the end. And I'm just going to come back to about there, so I want to tie that. Sorry, I want to tie that forward of the eye, so... Maybe tying this in 60, 40, something like that. 40 over the back. Catch it, bring it down. I'm holding the um, material in my left hand, forcing it to stay right on top of the hook. And we're gonna come down almost to the eye. We're gonna fold the top bit back over. We're gonna jump the thread back on it. And we're gonna wrap back. Nice and tight. And I'm pulling the material up off the hook. So when the turns of thread come down on it, it, it keeps it right on top of the hook. And now I'm gonna take some Deer Creek Glisten Glint. This is great stuff. I love, I love this Glisten Glint. And I'm gonna take a little tiny pinch of that. I'm just stripping out all the loose bits. And now I'm gonna tie that in probably 50 50 to be fair i've got a little bit too much out the packet so i'm just gonna take some away that's better you don't want these to be thick these flies now i'm gonna catch this on right back to the tail come on and again i'm gonna do the same thing holding material on my left hand on every whoops a daisy on every turn to stop exactly that happening um, so you can force it to stay on top of the hook. There we go. And now this time I'm going to tie it down all the way right to the back of the eye. Fold the material over. Catch it with the thread. Come back. Don't be too concerned about making nice, neat um, turns. You know, nice, neat touching turns. It, this is all going to get covered up, so... It doesn't, it doesn't matter as long as it's tied in well. There's the tail. Okay, I'm just gonna, gonna trim the glisten glint a little bit there. There you go. And there's a nice tapering tail. Probably won't have to do a lot of trim in there. Now I'm gonna take some Mirage tinsel in large, uh, in opal. I'm gonna tie that in on the side of the hook. Just there. I'm gonna run it down. 
I'm going to run the thread back and down again, just tying it in. Again, you know, you can tie these in in an ugly state like I've done because I'm going to cover this all up. I'm going to put a bit of varnish on top just to help the Mirage tinsel to adhere to the hook and just to make the fly stronger. Nice straight turn at the back and then in overlapping turns, come down through that varnish, covering everything up. There we go, all the way to the eye of the hook. So we get there, come around with the thread, catch it. I normally come over three times, fold it back. I'm just gonna tilt my vise just so I can get right in here with these. Scissors, trim the Mirage tinsel off. And now I'm gonna run the thread up over the top of it and back again in like a crisscross fashion. And there we go. Right, now all I need to do is whip finish. So that's the fly tied, that's the tying part. Don't worry about doing loads of turns on the whip finish. It's the beauty of this uh, clear thread. It's so thin, you don't really build anything up, you know? Now I'm gonna take, this is a pro marker in olive, and I'm just gonna paint the top of the fly, including the eye, olive. And I'm gonna come back onto the tail a minute and kind of just fade it out. There we go. Make sure I just go a little bit down the sides. They are kind of olivey back sand eels. And cut the coats on there. Now we're going to put some eyes on. Now the eyes, I'm just using five millimeter um, little red eyes, and I'm going to about the third way mark. I'm going to put a couple of little dollops of UV resin, and it's to that UV resin we're just going to. Uh, put the eyes. Now, you don't need to super glue these eyes on as I would a pike fly because they're all getting covered in resin. So this UV resin is enough to hold. Put one eye on one side of the resin, one side of the fly on the resin, put the other fly on the other side. And make sure they're nice and equal, make sure they're nice and straight. When you're happy, come in, just set that resin. That's enough to hold them. And now we're gonna build the body up nice and slowly. So I normally start by putting some between the eyes, both sides. Now this is a thick UV resin. Run a little bit down on the body. I don't want it very thick, this, this first little coat. This is where you have to take your time on a fly. Now, the reason I angled the hook towards the eye of the hook is because when I turn it that way round, it will dribble down. When I turn it that way, it will dribble back. And I can come in with a needle, just move this resin around, trying to get it in all the little nooks and crannies. It's only the first coat, so you don't have to be too mental with it. Come in, set that first coat, Make sure it's set nice and hard. And we're gonna come in again. We're gonna come in again with the UV resin, making sure the eyes are covered, making sure you've got the shape you want in the fly. A rotary vise makes this whole procedure much easier. When I first started fly, uh, fly tying, I nearly said when I started flying then, that'd be amazing. Um, when I first started fly tying, I didn't have a rotary vise. And doing this was, was so, so difficult. But with a rotary vise, if you can afford to buy one, and you can get them fairly inexpensively now, um, this is a, a peak 
rotary vise that I use. I like it because I can change the jaws to these ones you have I have here for holding bigger hooks. Now I'm just turning this vise, getting that resin dribbling where I want it dribbling. Um, you know, going where I want it to go. Now, when you're happy, I just want to put a little bit more on this side, just a tiny bit more. You, you know, this is where you've got to be. You got, you got to take your time doing this bit. You can't rush it, otherwise you end up with an ugly looking fly, and ain't nobody got time for that. Right, when you're happy, come in and um, toast it with the UV light. Give it a good toasting. Make sure she's well and truly zapped. I mean, this stuff hardens within seconds, but you want to make sure it's all... I mean, look how UV the material is. Really, really pings, doesn't it? Um, in the sunlight, you know, it's going to light up like a Christmas tree. Now, when that's well and truly zapped, come in and have a look at your fly. I'm happy with that. And then I just come in with a normal clear nail varnish, something like Sally Hansen's Hard As Nails, or I'm just using good old Rimmel 60 Seconds here in clear. And just make sure the fly has got a nice coating of that. It, it, it kind of takes any tackiness that there might be there away, and um, it makes the fly really shine. And then I just keep turning it, just keep turning it until that's all dry. Now there we go. There is a surf candy style sand eel. Again, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, please like the channel and um, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.